happening now. They were hoping for dream vacations, and instead, several people are stranded here. They say their airline canceled their flight and now won't give them any information. CBS 4's Carrie Cott has the story. Honestly, it's really disappointing. Um, just Lauren Pett says she and her friends so worked hard to graduate college and save money to spend six weeks touring Europe. Five hours before their flight on Tuesday at Miami International, she says they learned WOW Air canceled their flight. There's no responsibility, there's no remorse, there's no game plan that gets set up for us to be taken care of. Pets and other passengers say WOW Air, which had its ribbon cutting and began service at MIA earlier this year, did not book them on other flights on other airlines and only offered to put them up in Miami and pay for food for two nights while they might be stuck here for possibly four days or longer before they can get another WOW flight to Europe. Pet says the delay is costing them valuable time and money. We've already had to cancel hotels. We've already had to try to cancel flights. Um, we're probably going to lose at least a thousand at a minimum. It just upset the whole vacation, you know. Brian Halligan hasn't been back to Ireland for a dozen years. He's excited to take his wife there for the first time, but says the Wow Air cancellation might cost him five of his nine days overseas. This is our vacation, and it's just it's a whole waste, you know and where I could be spending with my family in Ireland. Lauren Petz showed us her Facebook exchanges with WOW Air. The company apologized and instructed passengers on filing claims. But Petz says she remains disappointed in how the airline handled the situation. They should be responsible for their guests and give us answers, um, accommodate and reimburse us for our expenses and the cost of their air, not ours. Late Wednesday, several of the passengers told me they think they might be getting on a WOW Air flight on Thursday, but they're skeptical about whether that's actually going to happen. We reached out to a spokesperson for WOW Air several times on Wednesday, but no one got back to us. At MIA, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.